Hi everyone, I'm Yifan. Today, I'm going to introduce the work Pole Synchronization on the Multiple Pairwise Relative Poses. This work is done by Yifan and Qi Xing from the University of Texas at Austin. Given pairwise transformation between several observations of a 3D model, the pole synchronization problem aims to find the global poses of each observation that can help us recover the underlying 3D structure. In this work, we propose a propagation clustering method that can handle the high noise ratio from multiple input poses between each pair. The synchronization problem is usually defined on a pose graph. On the vertices are observations, and on the edges are input pairwise transformations. The output will be a global pose on each vertex. Previous works for solving this problem can be classified into three categories. The first are the spanning tree-based methods, which propagate global pose estimation along a spanning tree of the graph. The main drawback of such methods are the inefficiency due to the large number of paths and the choice of spanning trees. The second type formulates synchronization as a low-rank recovery problem of a matrix encoding, which fails when there is no spectral gap due to the high noise from multiple estimations for each pair. The third category is the Markov random field-based methods which requires discretization of SE3 space for the belief propagation, and this leads to discretization error. In order to handle these challenges, we propose multiple relative pole synchronization, which is a three-step pipeline that solves the synchronization problem under the setting that multiple estimations exist on each pair. The first is an iterated propagation and the clustering step, which finds the global pose candidates along paths in the graph. After that, we choose the best candidate among all the candidates. The final step is an optimization step, which utilizes bundle adjustment to refine the selected candidates. The propagation and clustering step collects information for each vertex from the neighborhood and then find all possible candidates. We see from this figure that starting from a certain vertex of the graph, we can vote for the candidate poses of its neighbors by applying transformations on the edges. Iteratively, this procedure collects pose candidates through all possible paths on the graph. After iterations, we can find the optimal global pose via dominant candidates. To avoid the discretization error, we transform the relative poles on each edge into a Gaussian distribution picked at it with standard deviation set by a hyperparameter. We apply this technique for rotation and translation separately. The propagation step merges the distribution implied from the neighborhood of each vertex into a new Gaussian mixture distribution. Since error may accumulate along paths, we set a decay on the component distribution weight depending on the path length. In addition, we only consider paths with length smaller than the maximum length. Since exponential possible paths leads to exponential component distributions, we improve the efficiency by limiting the number of components in each Gaussian mixture distribution to a constant k. We optimize the approximation distribution for each vertex by clustering after each propagation. When the propagation clustering step finishes, we pick one dominant component for each vertex and take it as the initial guess for the final global poses of the observation. In the final step, we minimize a weighted least square energy to optimize the initial poses using the Gauss-Newton method until convergence. With a relatively accurate initialization, we set a small weight over the outline input pairwise poses. We evaluate our method on three types of datasets. The first is the synthetic dataset with 1000 vertices. This dataset includes two settings, 
The first setting is that we connect each vertex with 30 neighbors. And for each connection, there are two relative poses, with half of them being accurate. For the next setting, we pick 20 neighbors, and between each pair are three possible relative poses, with 25% being accurate. In both settings, our method significantly outperforms the state-of-the-art methods. The second evaluation is based on the Scanner dataset. For the input, we retrieve four possible relative poses between overlapped frames based on a spectral matching method. Our method achieves 67% accuracy in rotation with 73% accuracy in translation, which is both much better than the SOTA. Here are some visualizations from the ScanNet results. We can see that our method achieves better accuracy in portraying the details. In addition, we also evaluate our method on large structure form motion datasets, which is a more standard task. We use Cornell Arts Court and San Francisco for this evaluation. We see that over tens of millions of images as input, it takes our method only several minutes to recover the global poses, which is comparative to the baseline method. Additionally, we provide exact recovery condition for our method over the input graph. The success rate of our method is relative to the graph density and the probability of accurate edges from the input. Thanks for watching.